Funko Pop Collectors, this is Link's Reviews and I'm Link, and today we are going over one of the first Target Con Funko Pops that I got. In fact, I think it was the only one that I was able to get my hands on, or one of the only ones that I was actually interested in, and that is the Star Wars 10-inch Stormtrooper. This is a part of the Artist Series and it looks so good. I am a big fan of the Stormtroopers as I've got all one already, and I've also got Boba Fett. I'm a big fan of the Star Wars 10-inch series, so it's very, very cool. And I'm super excited that I was able to get it, and I forgot to put my dang turntable up here. Ugh, hate it when I, I feel like I ever got everything all situated, and I forget one thing. Alright, so, this is obviously number 391, the Stormtrooper, part of Target Con. A 2021 exclusive and it's flipping awesome and I'm sorry if I cough for this video I've got a really dry throat I was talking a lot yesterday to be completely honest way more than I usually should and this thing looks absolutely amazing I love the black box that it comes with the Republic symbol so very cool it's got more of a blue hue to the suit than it does like the black and white or it's it's very very cool very cool so let's get it right opened up also I should be having another uh, Marvel Lucha Libre Funko Pop arriving sometime um, this week so it should be out next week's uh, video maybe I haven't decided yet because it's only one Funko Pop and it's kind of be weird to only have one and, um, I don't know, but, oh, this thing looks already gorgeous. Already gorgeous. Already flipping sweet. God, the detail on him is absolutely amazing. And my light is reflecting off his chrome dome so much. Look how bright he is in person. And on camera is a completely different story. He's not that bright. Although hopefully it doesn't degrade the being able to see it. Luckily I have a video overlapping it. It looks absolutely amazing. The detail on the back of him is great. The canister or maybe a sword. I don't know what this is on the back of his suit. It looks like it would hold. Maybe it's uh, more gadgets. His blaster's got a blue hue to him. Even his lens on his left side is more blue. It's so cool. How they, just subtle differences makes the Stormtrooper look so different. The new, um, the, the first order was a really black and red, uh, white one. The Empire's one was a, a black and white one, but not as deeply toned as the first order. Then the, the Republic was more of like, um, different colors schemes, like for different areas. But this is just so cool. Although I do notice some paint defects on the Republic symbol. Um, I feel like that's the Republic symbol. I might be wrong. There's so many symbols in Star Wars that I just... That might be the... Is that the Jedi symbol? I can't remember. There's so many... Let's just say that I'm a big fan of Star Wars, but there's so many symbols and my memory is terrible that it wouldn't surprise me if I got this wrong. So I'm just going to call it the Jedi Republic symbol. I know it's not the Sith symbol because I know what that looks like. I think. Yeah, but there's some paint defects uh, on the artist symbol on over his right eye. You can see some paint bleed. Definitely also some dust on him. Yeah, there's definitely some paint defects on him, which is unfortunate, but it happens all the time. And the only way to really avoid it is you have to find the Funko Pop in person. You have to check it out. And for example, like... There's no guarantee that I would have been able to get this in the store, so I got this through online. And online, they pick it out for you. They, most of the time, they don't know what they're grabbing. They're just grabbing one. So, am I going to picture fit? No. Am I going to accept it? Yes. Am I going to be slightly disappointed that I didn't get a pristine one? A little bit. But, what can you do? It's Funko Pop hunting. You never know what you're going to get. You try to hope to get the best, or you can make sure you get the best by actually going to get it in person. But yeah, but that's also a risk itself. You don't, you can't guarantee you're gonna get it. But this is absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing. Also, what do you think of my WandaVision Hot Toys pre-order thoughts? 
uh, that I did on Tuesday. Did you like it? Did you watch it? I know it's, I don't do those that often. I'm trying to create uh, more videos a week. I also just got a computer for a new one. I mean, I've had one, but I got a new computer for editing. Hopefully it edits videos faster. That's the main, one of the main reasons why I got that computer. Let's just say it wasn't a cheap computer, so hopefully I didn't waste my money. But it, so far, it's working out pretty well. I haven't tested it yet on editing. This is going to be the first video, so hopefully it goes real fast, and hopefully I made a good investment. Hopefully it knows the difference. Maybe my editing will look better. I don't know. Never used this one for editing. But, yeah, so my thoughts on this Funko Pop right here is if you got a chance to get it, get it. If you pre-ordered it, let me know what your thoughts were about it when you got it. Um, or if you've got it yet. I don't know. But in my book, this is definitely a 9 out of 10 Funko Pop. It would be a 10 out of 10 if there weren't these uh, paint defects. So be aware of that if you're going to pick it up in person or if it's getting shipped to you if you bought it online. Just be slightly aware of that. Or you might get a pristine one. Who knows? But um, yeah, I would definitely recommend buying this one. I'm almost at 5 grand in the Funko app because uh, I, I enter in my Funko Pops on there. There's a couple of them that still don't have trending prices on them, but I'm almost at five grand on there, which is insane when I know I haven't spent that much in Funko Pops. Like, weirdly enough, the most valuable one right now as I'm filming, uh, filming this is the Cara Dune one from The Mandalorian. That's $85. There was a time when my Stan Lee uh, from Iron Man, uh, from the first Iron Man, was 125 or $50. That was insane. Considering I was able to, because they put it on a shelf that said $8.99, and I knew for a fact that it was um, $14.99, I got it for $8.99, so that's like insane, and it was also the last one, so I'm glad I was able to get it. But yeah, so I was able, I'm glad I was able to get this one. Let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts were, uh, especially on this review, or if you got it. I think I already mentioned that before. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, share this video with your friends. We're trying to get to 500 subscribers before the end of the year, and if we do, I do have a giveaway planned of a child Funko Pop. And if we reach 1,000, I mean, it's possible. We're at 178 subs right now as I'm filming this, so we're almost halfway to 500, which is going to be absolutely fantastic. And I can't uh, tell you guys more how much I appreciate it. I'll be doing another giveaway to 1,000 subscribers too. But I do also have two other channels that I'm just putting out there. I have a reaction channel and a Pokemon channel. On a reaction channel, I finished WandaVision. I'm starting Falcon and Winter Soldier. Uh, I've gotten two episodes down on there. Uh, I'm almost done with Resident Alien. It's a sci-fi TV show. It's pretty cool. Also, I'm doing The Flash Season 7. I just did Episode 4 on there. I'll be doing Episode 5 this week. Uh, and it's looking out to be a pretty good season. I'm actually really looking forward to the season finale of Resident Alien. And see more of uh, the Falcon and Winter Soldier. Also on my Pokemon channel, I upload uh, two videos a week on there. Uh, just uh, opening up random Pokemon packs. Um, this Earlier this week, I did... Uh, what was it again? Uh, Darkness Ablaze packs. Some Blister packs. I got a secret wear. And then uh, as I've uploaded this one, I have another video on my Pokemon channel that just uploaded along with this one. And it was a Shining Fates Elite Trainer Box opening. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description down below. And as always, my fellow collectors, I know a long outro. Have a nice day, and peace out.